Okay, so here we are, um, ready to upgrade a unit. Um, earlier, I went through the process uh, with you of verifying the current version, all right? And then I went through the process of accessing the website, www.lawrence.com, and downloading and saving the update file. When I went through that, I also mentioned that you want to extract the files. And you want to make sure and you got to know a little bit about uh, computer terminology here after all these are computers and what you want to do is that once you extract it you only want to extract the update file itself to your SD card you do not want to have the folders and so forth or the process won't work so you can actually download the files off the website right to your C drive then extract and copy only the update file to your SD card. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're simply going to, um, in most of these units, you just power off the unit. And if the process is a little different here, well, we'll see. But you're going to plug in your SD card. It really doesn't matter which slot over here on your HDS. Uh, nine in this case you plug it into because the unit will detect that and then we're going to power it on and if the update process doesn't start automatically like it does with some of the other uh, older non-touch units um, then we'll actually just go in and I'll show you the process that you can use not only to ind individually update a unit but to update one across the network so in this case it says validating update please wait do not turn off during update as this may damage your device All right and that warning should be strictly adhered to because from what I've heard if you do interrupt the process it will definitely uh, mess up your unit and you don't want that I think the only way you can get it fixed is to return it to the factory at that point. So it is going through the process right now. Right? It is updating. And once it's completed, what we'll do, of course, is we'll just drop back in and we'll verify that it updated successfully with a new version. And then we can take advantage of some of those new features. And I'm looking forward to being able to uh, share a single Navionics chip uh, between the units. So you've seen this process. If you have a different HDS Gen 2 unit, it's not a touch unit, you would just want to um, select that file, go through the extraction process the same way, uncompressing that zip file, and saving only the update file to the root of that SD card. In layman's terms, it should be the only file copied to your SD card. No folders, just that one update, or UPD, I think it was, file. It's too many extensions to remember every single one of them, but um, you saw it earlier in the videos. So here it's saying on the display, upgrade completed, remove media to reboot. So as soon as I opened the door and I extracted the SD card, just like it said it would do, the unit automatically rebooted. And after this we should be in good shape. Now I've got two network devices on my boat, both this HDS uh, 9 and then over to the left of it you can see here my, my lab, I've got another HDS 5 uh, generation 2. Um, now I've just taken both of these off my boat during the winter um, and then set them up down here with an external power supply. Um, and it gives me the chance to go through and do things like this, like upgrade the uh, firmware version and also to make some 
uh, instructional videos that hopefully will help um, some customers out there, especially customers of uh, Richie Thayer at Thayer's Marine in Norwich. You can see over here my unit's still booting up. Don't be nervous, it takes a little while anyway. So far, so good. Alright, we are back here. I'm going to choose no right now. Uh, it's asking me to enter simulate mode. And I'm going to verify our work. And I'm going to come back over here to settings. Scroll this to about. And now you can see that the application version has changed. Up here it's saying version 2.5. And then the rest of the uh, firmware file version name. So that looks uh, like the update went perfect. All right. So now when I get out on the water, I'll be able to make sure that I can uh, share my Navionics chip and so forth with my other unit and take advantage of some of the other updates. I hope that was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, um, you can actually email me at wy. M-A-N-D-A-4-6 at Comcast.net. And if I can help you uh, upgrade your unit successfully or make you more comfortable with it, uh, I'll try to do that. All right. Thank you.